going back with the car that I'm setting up the throttle linkage and I'm gonna paint that roll cage. Um, hopefully you guys like this, but I think I know how to figure it out on uh, the throttle cable because it was a crossfire car. It was built from 83. They used crossfire from 83 through 84. They stopped that in 85. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. So well, I still gotta put this on, which I'm gonna do. But uh, I want to thank uh, the 84Z28 that told me how to run this. With it being a crossfire car, it had the throttle cable that ran around right in the middle of the two throttle bodies, which I still have, surprisingly. And I still have the original cover. But uh, I'll show you guys in real cage in a minute, but I'm showing you where I got along, and I'm about to make a bracket for it because it works. I just attached it real quick to see if it did. But uh, don't mind the floor. I know you guys have been saying so about the floor. The floor is solid. It is extremely solid. It is fine. But uh, I'm trying to get that gas pedal to pop up. See a little bit sneak peek of the roll cage. Hopefully you guys like this car. I'm trying to bring third gens back. I, I clean off the dash. I like that crossfire and boom on it. Uh, that's how my gauges are set up right there. And uh, we get look at the mileage. I don't think that's right because it says on the title it's wrong. But then again, I don't know because we tore it apart. But it's it's something bad about it is the dash. I'll get a cover for it. I'll show you guys. Let me make that bracket and I'll show you guys. And I'll change the fuel filter. Show you what's the difference between the old one and the new one. But uh, all right. So I got the thigh linkage hooked up. See, I will fix X and these return spring. But what I did is I went to AutoZone and they sell these like 12 bucks or something. But you had to adjust to your own thing. And I ran the cable behind the block. It was a crossfire car, so it was a little, little long. A little long. See, there's nothing hitting my header. And uh, it works. And I'm happy about it. But now I got to do this. But first, I'm going to go put my fuel filter on. But I just want to show you guys I got this done. And I'm going to show you the road cage before I do the filter. Okay? Alright. Alright. So here's the cage. I'll show you uh, after this. Or I'll put a picture in. Show you what it looked like before. It's flat black. The welds still look nice. I know I'm going to get a lot of stuff for the floor. The floor is solid. It is fine. And I obviously carpets you to cover this stuff so you guys won't see it again very soon. But in my opinion, the cage looks really good. There's no runs in the paint. Uh, absolutely no runs in the paint. At all. My goodness. The hard part was trying to paint up here. Kind of wish he painted it before he put it in. But I can't complain. The cage was awesome. Um, I suggest you guys put a cage in your arrows. Even if you can't, it'd be good and stuff from connectors. So you know how these things are supposed to have a, a fuel filter location. Because I got to change it out put this new one in. I don't know if it's just for 83. That they don't have one. <clears throat> But if you look, it's supposed to be right there, right? I can't find anyone. I put a fuel filter on the line of the carburetor. And I'm thinking there should be one coming from the tank to the hard line. But if uh, you guys know where one is on the 83Z28, uh, let me know in the comment section. And uh, for those who are running, wondering, this is the... Yeah, this is the... Dino Max is also running two and a half inch. Just it's a nice muffler. No cat. Off of shorty headers, headman headers. Uh, yeah, I, I, I really want to know if there's supposed to be one right there. Because I've seen later third gens that have them right there. And I don't know where an 83 on an 83 each one a where it would be from the, the tank to the heart. So guys, this is the exhaustive. I'm going to run my car. Check 
two and a half inch stainless steel jaw tip from Jake's. It's gonna look good on the Camaro. And uh, I'm just trying to get this car done before March. And uh, of course, it comes with Jake stickers. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy this build series that's going on. But uh, I'm gonna go out the car one time to show you. One more look at the car. Show you guys Alright guys, let's go wrap up today's video. Sorry for a short one, but uh, here's one more look at the car for you guys. I cleaned the T-top and the hatch. And uh, a new windshield's coming after I paint the car. But uh, should you, should you guys get one more look at everything I did. So I paint the roll cage. I tell you again, the floors are solid, okay? It, they're solid. But uh, if you guys enjoy the the way this build is going, uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more. And uh, plus, this car is being painted by uh, next month. So, yeah.